Good evening, LTL Nation. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. My name is Anita, and this is Live Talks Live tonight about education. Now, if we would like to see this world as a fair and equal place, education is required. Because education allows the equal, equal opportunities for the sexes throughout the world. Now, in our societies, there are unspoken rules. And one of these rules are that you are required to have an education in order for you to have a well-paid job. If you have a well-paid job, you will then be able to go on and have a part of society, meaning being a part of the growth of a nation. Now, what is the problem with our education system? And I would like to look at it from different perspectives tonight with you. Because while we are struggling with our education systems, people in other parts of the world are actually praying to have an education. Our education system basically forces us to memorize facts. So we are supposed to know geography, we are supposed to know history, mathematics, writing, counting, and so on and so on. And while all of these are very important basic knowledges that all of us need to have, there is so much more that we actually will never require again in our lives. I remember when I was in school, I used to hate math. And I'm this kind of person, if I'm not interested in a certain topic, I really struggled to learn it because I am able to learn it, right? Our mind functions, we are intelligent people, we can learn everything there is to learn. But if we don't like a topic, how easy is it for us to learn it? Now, when I was in my school and we had to pass math exams, mostly I passed them because of the real, real support of my teachers, right? Because they gave me a better grade than I, maybe I even deserved. And at times, I actually almost failed a class because of mathematics. Then when I went on to university, I was so happy because I could specify in a topic that I wanted to learn, that helps me later finding the job that I wanted to find. But what happened in university, to go through the first year, again, you have to pass all the basic knowledge that there is. So I had to learn statistics, I had to learn accounting, I had again to go through math. And I struggled so much with it that I actually had to go forth and find a teacher to help me and I had to pay to take extra classes just to get that knowledge that is required for me to actually move on and go to the specialization that I wanted to learn. And why is that wrong? You see, many people nowadays are struggling with our education, not because necessarily it is a bad one, but because it doesn't focus on our strengths and our talents and our abilities. There is a saying from Albert Einstein that I really love, and I wish I would have occurred it much earlier in my life. He says, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live on all its life believing that he's stupid. And this is how I felt many, many times in school. And don't get me wrong, I used to love my school. I used to love to go there. I used to love sports, arts, English, German writing. I used to love history. And all of these are important knowledges that we need to have in our societies. Because if we go to parties, if we go to gatherings, and we don't know the basic information the majority of people knows, well, guess what? We will look a little bit stupid to them. Now, you see, society expects us as I already mentioned, to get a certain degree and to get a certain knowledge. But it, what is actually happening with our society and our economic systems nowadays? Because everything has changed. Education in the past, how it started, it was only for privileged people. So actually parents who could afford to give their children private teachers were able to do so, while the majority of the poor people never even received an education. Luckily, we developed throughout time, and it has been so that everyone nowadays can acquire an education, no matter what social status you have, which is wonderful, because it really helps each and everyone out there to get a job and to actually have an opportunity in life. And confidence also is a big part of it, because if you're confident because you're well-educated, you will be able to go out there and actually sell yourself. But society nowadays does not acknowledge one thing when it comes to the school system. And this is the progress we have made as humanity. People used to work in factories before. And in the 80s, the baby boomer generation used to work in corporate organizations mainly. Now we still do that nowadays, of course. But what about all those people who work in different work models? Or who are entrepreneurs? Why don't we learn in school not only facts, 
but everything that we learn, how can we apply that in our lives nowadays? And how can we create value through the knowledge that we have gained to, to achieve our potential and our ultimate goals? And this is a big part that is missing. I wish I was told in school how to set up a business, how to do my budget. But these are things that were not in the curriculum. And I remember as well, you know, that our education really has one thing that it has forgotten. It's not just about the teachers nowadays that are in school and teaching the children. Most of them would like to change something, but the curriculum does not allow that. And perhaps you remember there was a movie in the 80s, which was called Dangerous Mind, featuring Michelle Pfeiffer. And this is a perfect movie explaining nowadays education. It was 20, 30 years ago, but it still applies until today. She started as a teacher in a high school class in the ghetto with underprivileged children. And what she has found was a class full of children that were completely demotivated and didn't want to learn. And the school had given up on them. So they were basically letting them pass year after year until they finished high school, but didn't intend whatsoever to try to find out how can they improve those kids to actually get a degree and have a real chance out there in life to find a job. And what she did was, that she gave everyone a great A from the moment she joined as a teacher. And the only objective of the class was to keep that grade. Now, of course, there were many different other aspects that she chose, but she looked at each and every person and tried to find out, okay, what are the interests? What are the strengths? How can she teach them literature and music and geographics and mathematics in a way that applies to them? And she found a way through different techniques to really get those kids that were completely demotivated to finally have a degree in the high school. And she had to fight the school system in order to do so. So I would like to give a big shout out to all those amazing teachers out there that are really helping and trying to help those kids and are actually looking at their strengths and at their potentials. But the education system has to change for us really to be able to improve in time and to actually go with time. Because everything changes, technology changes, medicine changes, it advances. And so really our school system has to do the same. Because we need to be compatible in this world. And we need to be competitive in this world. And it all starts with our school system. Now for us, of course, that we are already grown up, it is too late to go back to school and change the system. But it is for our kids, for our future. And nowadays, for us who had to go through that school system, the only way we can continue educating ourselves is to really tackle the power of our minds and keep going and keep educating ourselves with extra training. So there are opportunities out there, and a degree does not make you an intelligent or an educated person only. It is when you are able to tackle into the power of your mind and make the utmost of what you have learned and keep learning throughout all your life. So that was what I had to say tonight about education. I hope that you can resonate with my talk and I hope that it can help you a little bit to provoke your minds. I'm sure a lot of you out there who have listened to me can agree and can relate to the topic. Please like and share our videos. Go to our website at lifetalkslife.com. Go to our social media pages, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram account. We, as always, love to hear from you. And please tune in tomorrow to Omar and Dunya, and they are going to take on education. I'll see you next week. God bless you, and have a beautiful evening. Goodbye.